I'm going to be starting a new project today. This is a delivery van, one of the major delivery companies. And what we're going to have to do is it's had decals on it, and they've taken the decals off, but when they did, they took a roller, looks like, and painted over the top of where the decals used to be. So we've got to sand all of that down. Uh, the top should be okay. We'll just do the sides from the, from, kind of from the top of the door down. I don't know how hard this is going to be. We've got to take off some mirrors and everything we can take off to get out of the way before we start sanding. So we'll see how it goes. Here's a side view that shows where they used a paint roller. Making some progress, we have the mirrors off in the front, tail lights are out, bumpers that hit the side of the van when you open the door, got them off, Mercedes emblem went right there, it's off, got the hood off, pretty heavy. There's the hinges, and that's the lock arm that goes up to hold it open. Making a little progress here. I've got about a three by two area sanded. Got a whole lot to do right there. That's going to be some rough sanding. Well, here's a bent up door. What we're going to try to do is weld some studs on and then pull it out. And of course, fill it up and get it pulled out. So. We'll see how it goes. Well, here's a one door with the studs put in, pulled out. First coat of Bondo. We'll sand it down when that dries and see what it looks like. So we're going to try this latex paint remover. See if it acts any different. If you just loosen it some, that'll help because it's really hard to sand off. Hopefully tomorrow will be a good start and maybe we can get some more of this stuff off. Well, side one is done. As far as sand and paint, we got the, the latex paint off of it. The crud cutter stuff that we sprayed on did help, made it came off, come off easier. Still tough sanding, but we did get it off. Here's the back door. Mondo's pretty much finished. More latex paint to get off there. Right there, all the way down the side at the top. You still gotta get, it, get the latex paint off of it. The bottom is finished. I got all of it off the door. It's, it's gone. So we're back to work. Okay, success. The van has all the latex sanded off. We have a spot we got to fix up at the top too. Dented place. And knocked it out with a hammer. We're going to bondo that. 
try to make it look better. This is going to get decals on the side anyway, but still we want to make it look as good as we can. I wanted to show you we used, we bought a hundred of these sticky back sanding discs or sanding pads on a DA sander. We bought a hundred. We used 69 out of a hundred. So I guess that's better than using them all, but I knew we used it a lot. 69 total. But it's a big truck. Well, all the latex paint is gone. Just finished the hood. That was the last piece. Uh, you know, I've still got, still got white around my eyes. I wore a mask, but you still can't keep from getting it on you. These places here, here, and in here, these are gouges where they pulled off the decals and they, they cut down into the metal trying to scrape the decals off. So we had to sand those real good and then we'll prime them course on top of that. Here's the back door where we had to Londo the dents. Should be okay. Looks pretty good. This is how you tape up an oversized truck. It's about 12 foot tall. And we could just barely reach up there with a step ladder to get some tape on the windshield. But anyway, primer's next. That's what's if we ever get it all taped up. Tall truck. Well, she's primered. We got pretty good coverage on it, so the white paint that goes over the top of the white primer should look really good. Here's the hood. Well, we got the old van painted. It's going to be a van used for deliveries, so it'll have decals put on the outside. It'll look fine. Still got to paint the very bottom under the molding. We're going to put bed liner textured finish on it. And then we want to repaint the black molding and the rear bumper, repaint it. But the biggest part's done, so we'll let it sit out in the sun and dry. Well, today we painted the molding. It's actually a dye, it's called a molding dye that you, you clean it off real good. And just in a rattle can, but it makes it really look nice. Still got a paint underneath the rocker and on the rocker there with the bed liner material. And the back bumper, we want to paint it. We did buff the headlights, they were a little foggy. Made them look better, got the hood all back on it, front grill. Close to being finished. Well, we're finished. Paint's painted. Last thing we did was the molding and the rockers. You see, they've got a textured paint on them. Turned out really well. textured paint here and the door openings too. Just make it last longer where you're getting in and out. Make the paint last longer. Really looks good. We're pleased with the way it turned out. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We would really appreciate it. Thanks.